Welcome to Cadence Design Systems Fidelity Tutorial Tuesday. Today, we will exemplify the concept of asynchronous Python API commands, which are a new feature of Fidelity 2023.2 and newer versions. By default, the Python API executes commands sequentially, meaning a command needs to be completed before the next command is launched. Asynchronous programming means that the user can launch a non-blocking command, then perform other actions or launch other non-blocking commands. For mesh generation and simulation, this behavior can be controlled by the use of the blocking argument. When set to false, the command is scheduled and the hand is returned to the Python script while the command is not finished. The blocking argument is now extended to other commands, such as geometry operations. For example, in the geometry context, several operations can now be launched as non-blocking. It allows for a faster execution of a scripted workflow. Here is the list of geometry operations for which the new argument has been implemented. Import geometry, compute tolerance for conformalization, Conformalize the geometry, group by sharp angle or group by fillet and sharp angle, and defeature sharp angles. These commands launched from the Python API have an optional blocking argument, which is true by default. When the user sets this argument to false, the method returns a command object. The command will be running in the background and the user will be able to perform other operations in the meantime. When all the operations are finished, the user can call a blocking method that will wait for the results of the commands that were launched. To better understand the purpose of this feature, I have downloaded the example zip file available in the documentation. Let's extract the files in the same folder to have access to the geometry files and the two Python scripts. I will launch the first Python script, which will execute all the operations simultaneously. You can see in the background that all three geometries are loaded and manipulated simultaneously. Now, let's launch the second script, which executes the exact same operations, but will limit to two simultaneous operations. You can see in this case that the third geometry is not loaded until one of the first two has completed all its operations. In this case, the operations on the wheels are finished and then the notch back is imported and worked on. If we compare the two output files that contain the run times of each operation, we can see that the total time is of course higher when we impose a limit to the number of simultaneous operations. The reason we would impose such a limit is to avoid launching an excessive number of operations simultaneously on the same machine, especially for bigger cases. Hopefully this video has given you an overview of this new feature, Practicality. For more details on how to implement it in your own script, have a look at the two scripts I ran, which are available for download through the documentations. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, be sure to click the thumbs up button to subscribe to our channel for more upcoming videos like this. If you have any questions or suggestions for future videos, please drop us a line down below or connect with us on LinkedIn, which is linked in the description. Thank you all and have a great Tuesday.